This is 5 High Street, and just to the left of this door is the entrance to the Old Medford Cafe. Now, according to Mary Perseus, Elizabeth Short was a regular customer here, like so many other residents of the city. Now, this is the view looking up High Street, and you can see St. Joseph's Church in the background. And right next door is the office of Congressman Ed Markey. Now heading east is Forest Street and the Bigelow Building, which is in the National Register of Historic Places. And Betty would have walked right by the Bigelow Building, both on her way home from school and the restaurant. And moving up Forest Street, we have the post office. Right next to the post office is Shavaya Auditorium, where Betty would have had her gym class and attended civic events here. And this is the view of Shavaya Auditorium from the front main entrance. Now this is one of the buildings of the old Medford High School and it's a very huge complex. There are actually four buildings and two of them burned down. This is the memorial and it just extends for about a hundred yards all the way up Forest Street to Hall Street. Uh, heading due east on Salem Street, we walk right past the historic New England Baptist Church. And right next door to the church is the site of the Old Medford Theater. Built in 1915, it was another frequent destination for the young Betty Short. It was colonial style and the architect was M.A. Dyer. By 1950, it had a seating capacity of 1,289. In later years, it was twinned and became Cinema 1 and 2 and then tripled. The auditorium portion of the Medford Theater has been demolished and replaced by parking, but there still remains office and retail space. The electric company building has been here for over 100 years. A short distance up the street on the other side is the old Medford burying ground and there are some very famous people buried here including John Brooks, Isaac Hall, Peter Tufts, and Sarah Fulton. Now we're at a section of Salem Street uh, this would be uh, Open Street, and this is where Route 93 came in in the 60s, and Elizabeth's home and Mary Pasea's home were all taken. And if you look straight ahead, that is the old Salem Street, and that building right there is 101, and that would be the home of Mary Pasea, which was taken by eminent domain. Now, this is called Spring Step, and that's a non-profit. It's a new building where they teach you how to dance. And looking at this building, to the left would have been Fifield Court. And right next to Fifield Court would have been 107 Salem Street. And right next to 107, right about here, would have been 115 Salem Street. And this would be the actual location for the short residence. 115 Salem Street would be right under Route 93. Now from this position, I'd be standing right in front of the short residence, and over here is the plaque that was put up by the Medford Historical Society in 1993. Now this is looking at the, inter from the intersection of Cross Street, looking at where the Elizabeth Short House would be located. Now I'm facing Washington Street, and this would be the site of the Washington Public School where Elizabeth would have attended her elementary school. And this is Washington Street and Cross Street. This building was number 161. And this is a little plaque dedicated to the World War II veterans, which would be right in front on the site of uh, Elizabeth's old school. And this is the uh, intersection of Cross Street and Salem Street.